Hey everyone, welcome back to Nutrition Made Simple, a video series that we created that takes a look at uh, ideas surrounding natural health topics and then we break them down into easy to understand and actionable steps that pretty much anyone can take. And we're switching gears a little bit this month. Last month we were talking about some back to school basics for kids, how to uh, boost immune system, healthy meals, and uh, all that good stuff. But for the month of September, we're actually going to be taking a look at several different herbs that are our absolute favorites. And herbs get overlooked a lot of the time. We've got a lot of great, great supplements, but the herb wall is one that it can get a little overwhelming pretty quickly because we've literally got A to Z on that wall. There's, there's a ton of options. Um, but the first one up for this week is actually going to be something called olive leaf extract. And it's more or less pretty much what it sounds like mm -hmm. um but it actually has some really unique properties that we wanted to share with you today so ed just to dive right into it olive leaf dates back pretty far right there there's some documented usage usages of it from even ancient egypt that is correct brian and if you know if you know me at all you know i'm a connoisseur of learning about nutrition but I will have to say if there's one herb that is my all-time favorite and personally probably use more than any other, it would be olive leaf. And I want to tell you some of the reasons in a minute about that. But keep in mind, 70% of the world still uses botanical medicine. That mm -hmm. means more natural medicines. In this country, because of the heavy influence of more pharmaceutical options, which have some great benefit at times, uh, but that has downplayed the botanical part. So very few of the health professionals today have any working knowledge of botanicals. Hmm. They should because two reasons. They're relatively very safe and relatively very inexpensive. And they're used as natural medicines. That's what all of our great-grandparents all the way back to the beginnings of time used botanicals, herbs, and products that help them get through hard times with mm -hmm. their health. Mm -hmm. Now, olive leaf... Uh, like you said, Brian, as it dates back to the ancient Egypts. And in the early 1800s, it was commonly given to people that had fevers and had sicknesses, and it was one of the most utilized herbs. Well, that continued on, but it kind of went out of favor somewhere around probably the 30s. I don't know why. Mm. And I'll tell you a personal story. Back about 1990, a company called Solgar started producing olive leaf. There was almost no olive leaf anywhere, and they started making it. Well, we had a, I had a small store. It's actually in Brainerd Village for some of you old timers. <laughs> and I started, as I always do, I became the guinea pig. So I would try things to see how they worked on me. That's the best way for me to educate other people. Well, I found that every time I got, I will call under the weather, you know, a cold, or even a stomach ache or something happening that wasn't quite right, just didn't feel quite right. Well, I started using this Solgar olive leaf and without failure, if I used it quick enough with the right dose, I would feel better within a very short period of time. Mm -hmm. Instead of being down and out for four or five days, usually it was one day. Well, I Nutrition World became the number one uh, customer of Solgar's Olive Leaf. We bought more than any store in the country. <laughs> and this was when I didn't have a big store yeah. because I knew that it worked. Well, back in those days, there was no internet. I couldn't go to PubMed. There wasn't any studies. So it was just anecdotally learning. Mm -hmm. Well, now it's risen to the top of, of the health experts who are, are into botanical medicine. So I want to tell people, if there's one single product that I never go out of town unless I bring, it is Olive Leaf. Mm -hmm. It has pulled me out of the trenches so many times that I cannot count. Yeah. And I want people to understand the power of good products in the world of herbal medicine. Because you're, you said it right. It There's so many herbs and it is confusing. Mm -hmm. And the working knowledge today has lessened greatly mm -hmm. because there was a lot of herbalist back in the 80s and 90s. They've lessened with time because of just the way the world has changed. I want to keep herbal herbal medicine going because of its value. Yeah. And olive leaf uh, isn't found in olive oil. I want to say that first because many people think, well, right. I drink olive oil, so right. I'll get olive leaf. Because the thing in olive leaf that's active is a product called oleoropin. Mm -hmm. And that's the active ingredient that in the studies have shown the ability 
uh, to be antibacterial, antiparasitic, uh, helps some people to have optimal levels of blood pressure. It always helps me with a stomach ache for some reason. Hmm. I can take it. Or if I have food poisoning, it has very powerful components that can take uh, can be toxic to the bad guys, I guess I okay. will say. Uh, have you ever taken olive leaf? I've taken it on a couple different occasions. Um, once when I was feeling under the weather, um, that was one of the first things that I went to. Mm-hmm. And I think that was actually based on your recommendation, <laughs> so it's not surprising. Um as far as obviously it has extensive immune benefits mm-hmm. um and you mentioned uh, it can even maybe help with blood pressure uh, are there other things that it's beneficial for as well there's many several and uh, the thing is even in memory there was some studies done with olive leaf over an expen- extended period of time with people with dementia and other memory loss okay. and it helped to lower inflammation within the brain well that's part of what happens to all of us as we age the demon with father time is chronic inflammation that's why we speak about it continually it's also why i really am invested in the blood test called high sensitivity c-reactive protein mm-hmm. we do that here at nutrition world uh, every tuesday we do all the blood testing but that one will tell the level of chronic inflammation and when you have a high number you do things to see what's going to work to lower that or you will age faster and it will be a little less pretty sight as we age but olive leaf i want to say to make sure we get it in you have to look for a product that has a percentage of active ingredient. You can't mm-hmm. just go out and purchase olive leaf. Right. It needs to have at least 15% of this oleoropin, and the dosing of it preventatively is basically one pill a day in most cases, mm-hmm. but therapeutically, which means if I'm not feeling my best, is up to about 3,000 milligrams, which is six capsules per day of most brands. Okay. Uh, but the key is starting early. If you wait three or four days and you got a cold coming on, you probably miss the wind of opportunity. I also, um, I did a physical, believe it or not, Brian, about two months ago mm-hmm. because I fly small airplanes. And being a pilot, I have to get a physical every other year. Right. To make sure that I had optimal levels of blood pressure, I started my olive leaf about two weeks before, and I came in with a 124 over 79 reading. Mm-hmm. I'm usually a little bit higher than that, but yeah. that's the only thing I did was olive leaf, so I'm a huge wow. fan. I'm also not a fan of taking it every day. Okay. It's an herb that I like to keep in my cabinet. I do it for a reason. Uh, if I go... Uh, back in the day when we flew in uh, big airplanes around all those people, I would generally take it before I got on the airplane just as preventatively. Mm-hmm. But I also take it when I get my teeth cleaned. <laughs> because many times people who get their teeth cleaned, including me, I don't feel my best for a couple of days because all the bacteria is freed up, mm-hmm. which is a good thing. But in order for me to help myself with that uh, feeling, I do olive leaf the day before, the day of, and the day after. Never had a, another issue once I started that. Mm. It has proven to me the power of good quality olive leaf extract. That's crazy. Yeah, and you mentioned extract. Now, obviously, there are things like teas, and mm. I, I don't know if they do a tincture, maybe even a liquid. I'm not sure if they do or not, but... Um, are those as beneficial? Do you get the same effect? I have never yet seen a tea that has a standardization for the active ingredient, okay. one. Two, we do sell liquids that have the right ingredients. One of the worst tasting herbs probably uh-huh. that you could purchase. <laughs> very few children would ever use it, and most adults won't do it very long. Mm-hmm. So I recommend the capsules in almost all cases. It can give you in the wrong person, like my daughter. She cannot take... Uh, olive leaf, empty stomach, or in high doses, or she gets a stomach ache. Okay. It also kills so much yeast that sometimes we have what we call yeast die off, and that's too many dead yeast cells, and they basically kind of make it toxic for yourself. So okay. we have to be a little cautious, but again, that's one of the good things about it. If you do it appropriately, it is good to prevent a yeast overgrowth in some cases. Of course, we're not treating any medical condition. If you have a medical issue, you check with your doctor before taking olive leaf. Uh, but it is extremely safe for, I mean, PubMed. I looked at PubMed always before I do these things. <laughs> Amazing amounts of references mm-hmm. across the board. In fact, they had a, a study of uh, high school students in uh, 2019 that were competitive athletes. They put them on olive leaf every day for eight weeks. 
and this was a very well done study at the end of the eight weeks the kids that did the uh, olive leaf opposed to the placebo 28 percent reduction of sickness mm. in the, that group that's pretty mm-hmm. substantial to have a 28 percent reduction just from doing it uh, so it's a powerhouse it's a it's a uh, a golden jewel in the world of botanical and natural medicine yeah for sure well there you go everyone that's botanical number one for the month of september olive leaf extract um it is as that said a, a powerhouse i mean it's mm-hmm. it's one of the the most recommended ones as far as as we go in the store and um it's definitely something that you could benefit from having in your cabinet Well, that's it for this week. We hope this was helpful. Of course, if you ever have any questions, please feel free to reach out. We're always always happy to help in any way that we can. We hope that you have a wonderful week and we'll see you next time. Take care. Thank you.